Indian banking industry is poised for growth uh, across board. We are seeing growth on the private sector side, which is 20% plus. Uh, how do we define the, uh, the industry? So we are looking at almost on uh, overall basis three types. We're talking about retail banking industry. Uh, we are talking about corporate industry, and we are also talking about wealth management as a as a as a separate industry. So if you look at this segment, uh, the first one, which is uh, uh, retail banking or consumer banking, which we look at, is basically focusing on individuals, focusing on SME, small and medium enterprises. And the products we are looking at is primarily around deposits, savings and current deposits. We are looking at uh, fixed deposits. We are looking at loans uh, for, for these kind of uh, customers. Uh, from a channels perspective, obviously channels become very important for retail industry. We are also looking at uh, integration across platforms. So you would mean look at uh, host host integration for SMEs as well as one of the products. Uh, remittance is again coming in, payments is again coming in. So this is the larger area where the whole banking industry is available and lo looked at. Uh, we are looking at a lot of uh, financial inclusion related activities happening in this area. Second is about corporate uh, banking. Corporate banking is about handling the needs of larger corporates. Uh, you, you talk about Tata, Philips and others, the larger corporates we are talking about. And uh, what kind of products and differentiation they are looking at is, they are looking at better cash management. So they are looking at how the collections and payments from their side is handled differentially by the banks. Uh, we are also looking at uh, from a from pure loans perspective, working capital loans or a, or a loans for a different kind of structured products. Uh, there is also need for trade finance. These uh, corporates are trading across the world and within the country as well. And they are looking at products like a, a, a guarantee or a trade finance or a invoice discounting uh, which, to, which is need to be embedded in their products. Uh, the third side of the segment is uh, uh, the, the wealth management which is for uh, high net worth into individuals. What they are, they are looking at is how, do, how does their wealth get managed better. They are talking right now, they are expecting from the banks, how, do, how does their uh, equity portfolio look like, how the investment should happen there, uh, mutual fund investment, uh, re, uh, re, uh, the real estate in investment, as well as alternative investment there is what they are looking at. So these are the three different types of areas uh, where the segments which, are, which the industry is split in, uh, corporate side, consumer side and the wealth management. When we are hiring, uh, what we are first looking at in our candidates is the attitude. Are they focused on the customer and are they focused on making things happen for them? Because that's the primary first fact we are looking at how client focused they are. Uh, generically, what we are looking at is obviously your, your, your acumen level, uh, uh, aptitude level should be decent. Uh, your ability to learn, the learnability should be very high. And we, there should be a basic understanding of the industry itself. Uh, which means that you should have an idea about the how the retail and corporate and wealth management industry works, a uh, bit of a detail about the products which are there in the market. And of course, uh, with the so much of focus on technology, if you have additional knowledge about how technology works, how it can be used in your industry, I would be uh, looking at you getting valued very differently by the industry. So a bit of a knowledge about technology will help you in uh, doing it better, much better. Uh, on the soft skill side, I think uh, it's critical. Uh, many of you would be in sales uh, side, even if you're not in sales, uh, you, may be have, you may be working on the operation side, but if you have a soft skills which are at a very different level, you may be able to do much better in the industry. So this is what we are looking at on an overall basis. Uh, if you look at the candidates today, uh, hiring still is an issue. Uh, we find a lot of candidates who are not either good on the soft side or they are not good on the basics of the industry side. And we do groom a lot of people but uh, it would be preferable if you can actually get trained somewhere else or maybe you work as an intern somewhere uh, to understand the whole nuances and come on board. Uh, in that context, you would get valued as I said again. Uh, very differently by the industry and you may be starting at a very uh, at a higher salary and maybe a higher position than you would typically start as a fresher. Uh, while uh, there are a lot of online courses or online material which is available, I suggest you should go and find some relevant course which is directly going to affect you. It can be a face-to-face uh, -face course or it can be online. 
but you, it needs to be able to create value for you. So it should be specific around banking, that should be good. So banking, analytics and maybe some work around uh, marketing as well will help. So these kind of courses which are available uh, in the industry you should look at and uh, that will help you in getting uh, absorbed with the banking industry much faster.